gentlemen, put your hands together for Mickey Gillis. Smiling, but I feel this urge to grin. Never try to charm you well, that's just the mood that I'm in. If I want to act real cool, that's just the way that I feel. You don't have to buy my stuff if you don't like my deal. I'm the one mama warned you about. I'm the guy mama told you about. Take another look and then look out. Mama warned you. I'm the one mama warned you about. I'm the guy mama told you about. Take another look and then look out. Mama I just want to bear the facts to help you understand Sometimes when two bodies touch, things get out of hand If I say some things to you that sound a bit bizarre Just to let you know up front what my intentions are I'm the one mama warned you about I'm the guy mama told you about Take another look and then look out Mama warned you I'm the one mama warned you about I'm the guy mama told you about Take another look and then look out I'm the one warned you That's Gary Myers, ladies and gentlemen I think it's and also Master Sherlock That's Gary hey. That's a Ron Crooks, our keyboard specialist In the background back there the Keyboard specialist You know him? Joy Riley I like this part. I can do anything I want to do, see? Just sit here, just play around a little bit. Maybe we should just kick back and keep it kind of light Maybe we've been here before, maybe mama's right I just want to make it clear the moon is full tonight If you say that I should stay You know what? Huh? I just might I'm the one mama warned you about I'm the guy mama told you about Take another look and then look out Mama warned you I'm the one mama warned you about I'm the guy mama told you about Take another look at them and look out Mama warned you He's the one mama warned us about Thank you very much and welcome. Good to have you folks with us. There's a lot of wonderful shows in Branson. Certainly appreciate the fact you're going to spend a couple of hours at MG. We're going to do our best show you a good time tonight. Try to do some of the songs for you. I feel like you came here tonight to hear me perform. Down through the years, you give me quite a few number one single recordings in the country music charts. I can't do them all, but I'll do as many as I can. That's a promise. And I might do a few that you never heard before and may never hear again. Most of these songs I hope you recall, and some of them I hope they bring back some memories. We have a new CD that's going to be released uh, on the 20th of this month. And hopefully uh, we'll get a it played a little bit in a few of the radio stations around the country. I don't know if they might play it or not because I've been off the charts for about 14 years, but, I, you know, I don't really need it anymore. I've done, been there and done that, so to speak. But um, anyway, if you're around your local radio stations, you give them a call and say, hey, you got a big Gilly record? Yeah, we got this new CD. We'll play it. But anyway, the, the new single's going to be, uh, they, gonna, they released it um, this past Monday. It, it came out, and uh, it's called Invitation Only. And I'm going to do it for you on the second half of the show. But we're going to do four songs from that CD for you and see what you think about it. That way, if you like it, maybe you can call the radio stations if they get the CD, and they'll play some of them for you. This first song I'm going to do for you was the number one single for us. The year was 1978. It was an old remake of a song that Sam Cooke had out. But you folks give me a number one single with it. It's called Bring It On Home To Me and see if you remember. We did it like this. Have you ever changed your mind? 
about leaving, leaving me behind. Oh, bring it to me, bring your sweet loving, bring it on home to me. I know I laughed when you left. I know I only hurt myself. Oh, bring it to me. Bring your sweet loving. Bring it on home to me. Yeah. 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 I'll give you jewelry and money too. And it all, honey, that ain't all I'm gonna do for you. Oh, oh, bring it to me. Bring your secret. Bring it all home to me. You know, I try to treat you right. But you stayed out, you stayed out late at night But I'll forgive you, bring it to me Bring your sweet love Bring it on home to me Yeah, 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 yeah Thank you Okay, we're going to do one of the songs from the new uh, CD for you. And um, I hope that you like it because this is probably the most country song on the uh, CD. It's called uh, Sadly Ever After. See what you think about it. We had a story book beginning getting better with each day Then somewhere in the middle I somehow lost my way Then came the final chapter When you said that we were through And left me living sadly Ever after loving you Sadly ever said goodbye with just one little word you wrote me right out of your life you say you found the new prince charming now I'm a royal shade of blue alone and living sadly ever after love story that I'm writing. It's a sad, sad tale to tell about a man who loves someone, who loves somebody else. I wish that it was fiction, but heaven knows it's true. And the ending leaves me sadly ever after love. Sadly ever after Since you said goodbye With just one little word You wrote me Right out of your life Oh, well, you found The new prince charming Now I'm a royal shade of blue Alone and living Ever after loving you yeah. Alone and living inside Ever after loving you
Thank you very much. That's probably the most country song on that particular CD, so I hope you liked it. Uh, this next song is probably the most different thing I ever tried to do, and it's, um, it's from the CD also. And it was given to me by my friend Jimmy Buffett. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It reminded me of Jimmy Buffett when I got the song. <laughs> sort of like an island song. It's called I Didn't Know Your Memory Loved Jamaica. I saved my money, took a vacation, one that was long overdue. A little exotic recreation on a tropical cruise. Walking the beaches down around Kingston, getting crazy at night. Snapping my camera just like a tourist. Trying to get my mood just right Oh, I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica You never mentioned it spending its winters down there Jamaica I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica I should have known it would follow me anywhere I made friends with a couple from Cincinnati On their second honeymoon In love with each other They were so happy Should have been me and you so I bought this postcard from one of the natives A picturesque waterfall the Weather is lovely, I'm blue as the ocean Wish you wasn't here at all Oh, I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica You never mentioned it spending its winters down I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica I should have known it would follow me anywhere I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica You never mentioned it spending its winters down there I didn't know that your memory loved Jamaica I should have known it would follow me anywhere Thank you. Well, I hope you liked that song, too. That was on that particular CD. It was kind of different for us to do that, but uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll do the, um, the main recording for you on the second half of the show. It's called Invitation Only. That's the title of the CD, and, and I'll tell you when it's coming so you won't miss it. I don't know if you folks know this or not, but I struggled for many, many years in the music industry. My only claim to fame was I had an old nightclub down in Pasadena, Texas, and we called it Gillies in 1971. And the, uh, the only reason why I got that club was because I had played up and down that Spencer Highway in Pasadena for about uh, 10 years. Uh, got some Pasadena folks with us. God bless you. But uh, it just so happens that I have two famous cousins that I grew up with. Don't hold that against me. I'm proud of one of them. He's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His name is Jerry Lee Lewis, my first cousin. Thank you very much. He uh, calls himself, his nickname is The Killer. <laughs> I don't know anything he ever killed. He shot his bass player, but he didn't die. 
He was very lucky, you know what I mean? Oh, but I tell you what, I think Jerry Lee Lewis is probably none down the greatest talent in our family, if not the greatest. If you don't believe me, you can ask him and he'll tell you. <laughs> but I have another famous cousin, too. <clears throat> and I want to tell you something, folks. I'm very proud of Reverend Jimmy Swaggart. He's my second cousin. Very proud of him. Thank you. Thank you very much. Y'all better be careful. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to tell you this right now. He's done a lot more good than he ever thought about doing bad. And you can remember that, all right? Don't do as he does. Just do as he says, and you'll be all right. And I'm going to tell you why I'm so proud of him. He made more money than me and Jerry Lewis put together. <laughs> Tax free. Uh huh. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do some songs for you that uh, hopefully will bring back some memories to some of you folks because it broke the ice back in 1974 for yours truly. And uh, it'll reflect the style of piano that Jerry Lee Lewis created when we were kids growing up in Louisiana together. Because I, I, he started playing piano when he was about eight years old. I didn't start playing when I was about 13. To be honest with you, I have no idea when Jimmy started playing. Piano. <laughs> piano, we was talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I got to tell you folks that uh, I'm going to do some songs for you back here at the piano. And uh, I give you ladies credit for making them number one for me because the first song that went number one was a song called Room Full of Roses. Remember that one? <laughs> it didn't take me long to figure out that uh, the ladies were responsible for that song being number one. Boy, when I did, I recorded every flower song I could find. <laughs> I thought I was on a roll big time. And this is a true story. I recorded Room Full of Roses. I overlooked an orchid while searching for a rose, Big Bouquet of Roses, San Antonio Rose. The only one I missed was Tiptoe Through the Tulips. <laughs> only reason why I didn't record that one was because I thought maybe I might get a tour with Tiny Tim at the time. Can't you just see me and Tiny Tim on the stage, tiptoeing around the stage, singing Tiptoe Through the Tulips? Well, I'll put these songs in a little medley for you, and uh, you, I'm going to do three of them. They were all number one singles for us in the country music charts. The first one you're going to hear is Room Full of Roses. The second one will be Overlooked in Oregon. The third one will be the song that Mr. George Jones wrote called The Window Up Above. I don't know if you ever listened to the lyrics of that song, but it never made any sense. I mean, here's a guy standing up in a, in a two-story building listening, and you heard him whisper, you know, in the girl's ear or something, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See if you remember these songs. If I sent a rose to you, every time you made me blue, yeah, I'm a room full of roses. If I sent a rose of white. Every time that I cried all night, you'd have a room full of roses. And if I took the puddles and would tear them all apart, I'd be tearing up the roses where you broke my heart. If someday you're feeling blue And you could send a rose, maybe two Don't send me a room full of roses All I want is my arms around you The rose has lost its color the orchid stays the same And I'm alone to face these lonely years I didn't see the orchid 
I was searching for a rose Now I pay the price with bitter tears I overlooked an orchid while searching for a rose The orchid that I overlooked was you The rose that I was searching for is proof to be untrue. The orchid that I find, my dear, was you. Think about it. The orchid that I find, my dear, was you. I've been living a new way A life that I love so But I can see the clouds are gathering And the storm will wreck our home Last night you heard you tightly You didn't even show It's true, I was watching on the window up above You must have thought that I was sleeping I wish that I had been It is best I get to know you And the way your heart can sin That we belong together And our heart fit like a glove I was wrong, cause I was watching, watching you Under the window up above I lost my love while I was watching Under the window up Heard you whisper to him softly. <laughs> That's a great line in it. He's on the second story and he heard a whisper. <laughs> you know, some of these songs don't make any sense, do they? But they're kind of fun to play with sometimes. But anyway, I just want to tell you that uh, I want to thank you, all you ladies for making those two, first two songs, those flower songs, number one for Mickey Gilly, because let me tell you what you did for me. You got me out of that old nightclub and I have to deal with those drunks anymore. You know what they say, it takes one to know one. <laughs> but I tell you what, folks, <clears throat> I got a couple of guys in this group that I want to introduce to you because they don't get any attention and they're very important to us. On bass guitar, Kevin Lane Brashears. <laughs> He's a metronomical engineer. That's like, he always likes, that's what he likes to be called. Uh, all he is is really a drummer. Gary Cornelius. <laughs> Your hair's looking better tonight. I'm glad for you. <laughs> looking yeah, good. <laughs> you folks ever wonder how these uh, different groups get their names? You ever think about that sometimes? I thought it'd be kind of interesting because I, I was thinking about this one day and I said, you know, I've got to tell the folks how these things come about. When we first uh, put the group together, I was at that old nightclub in Pasadena, Texas, and we called the band the Bayou City Beats. You wonder why we call it the Bayou City Beats? It's because Houston is known as the Bayou City. So we call them the Bayou City Beats. And it made sense. I kind of like that name, too. You know what the lonesomest bayou in the world is, don't you? It's by yourself. <laughs> That's Joey's favorite saying right there. He loves that. When the Urban Cowboy film came out, <laughs> things began to make a, a pretty quick change for us because uh, when I had the room full of roses and I overlooked an orchid and the wind up above and all those songs when they first came out, I had to have a group on the road and I couldn't take the group out of the club. So the first thing off, the agent that was booking us said, we got to have a name for the band. 
I said, well, call it the Mickey Gilly Band. They said, no, we got to have a name for the band. Come up with a name. So I got to think about it. We had all them flower songs. I said, just call them Blooming Idiots. <laughs> band didn't go for that very much, so I said, okay. Call them the Red Rose Express. I never liked that name. But we had to have a name, so I, Red Rose Express. We got both bands together when we did the film The Urban Cowboy. And there was a song on that particular CD, uh, album, I should say, because it was back when it was on vinyl. And they said, uh, um, we did a song called The Orange Blossom Special, which we won a Grammy for, of all things. This is before CDs, folks. Thank you. <laughs> did The Orange Blossom Special, and Paramount Pictures on the album didn't ask us what, what the name of the group was. They just put the Urban Cowboy Band. I said, aha, uh -huh, like that. So I called them up and I said, can I have that name? And they said, it's yours. Y'all did the music. That's how the band got their name, the Urban Cowboy Band. So now for the rest of the story. I added two lovely ladies. Had to have a name for them. Thought about it a while. I said, got it. Call them the Urbanettes. Katie and Casey. But boy, I tell you what, I ran up against a brick wall when I added the brass section back here. I had no idea what to call these guys. I mean, I call them a, little, a few different things, but you don't want to hear them. I finally thought about it and thought about it, and I said, I got it. I'll just call them the Hornets. The Hornets! I'm going to introduce them to you individually as I come, when I come back on, off of the uh, break. And uh, they'll do an instrumental for you, and I'll tell you who each and every one of them are. That way, if you meet one of them out there on the in the lobby somewhere and you want to say hello to one of them, you'll know their name. Who knows? You may find one you like. <laughs> Good luck. I think everybody knows him over here. That's Joey Riley. I already told you who he was a while ago. That's Joey. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Come on. Joy Riley. Yeah. Oh, okay. man. Yeah, now that is the crowd we've been looking this is for. This a great audience tonight, and I'll tell you what. You having a good time tonight? I'm having a ball. That's good. I'm glad for How you. How you doing? You having a good I'm, time? I'm doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. What's the matter with your mouth? Do what? What's the matter with your mouth? I'm, my mouth's water. I'm trying to dry it out. <laughs> What's wrong with your mouth? I have no earthly idea. Mine's dry. You want to share? I'll trade you. No, I'm just going to tell you real fast. Now, now, it's good to be here. I'm having a ball. You're looking good. You're sounding good. He's sounding good. Eh? Better than ever. Better than ever. Yes, sir. You don't have to butter my toast on both sides. I'm fine the way it is. Oh, right? man, this is great. You got a new CD coming out. You're going to be a star again. Joy. This is cool. You've been shopping in a Porter Wagner garage sale. I mean, <laughs> you've got all these things going for you. You should be on top of the world with old Smokey. You know, I'm, you can put me down all you want to. You I'm can run me down any way you want to. It's okay. I'm going to tell the folks something about you that I found out today. Oh. And I am very proud of you. I you, want you mind know letting me in on it? Yeah, I'm going to tell, tell them first. Did y'all know that Joey got invited to the White House? Is that unbelievable? He got invited to the White House. I tell you what, during the film, The Urban Cowboy, and everything that's happened in my career, I finally got to play for President Reagan at the White House. And lo and behold, he gets a letter inviting him to the White House. Unbelievable. What are you going to be doing there? I have no idea. They just said for me to come down there and perform in front of the bushes, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be in the front yard or the backyard. But don't ask me to go with you. I don't want to get arrested. I want you to go with me. Hey, hey, if you go with me, we'll take one of them big, long stretch limos. You know, one of them big, long ones. Oh, yeah, I want to drive that car again. You know, when you first got it, you let me drive it? Mm -hmm. I want to drive it one more time. No, that'll never happen. What do you mean it won't happen? No, man, we got I mean, some... You give me that little cap to wear, you know? Yeah, man. Whew. You liked that cap, didn't you? Yeah, but it kind of messed my hair up, you know. Well, maybe we should pin it inside the hat, and that way... <laughs> Oh, 
I let it slip. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is the people don't know I have a limousine service. And uh, I, when I first got my first car, I brought it down here so he could see it. And he said, I want to drive it. And I said, <laughs> but he did. We put a chauffeur's outfit on him, put a little cap. He, he had to take his hair off and put the cap on because <laughs> Joey, the cap was just a little bit small for him. But he got up there and he's driving his car and he come out here and he pulled out here on the strip. He was going 55 miles an hour down the strip. And you can't do that in the summertime, only in the wintertime. We got down there right in front of the Presleys. What was you doing? I was sitting in the back watching Dr. Phil on TV. <laughs> we got down there and got stopped by the police doing 55 and a 35 mile an hour zone. The police came up there and seen him driving the car, went back to his squad car. And his partner said, did you give him a ticket? He said, no, they're too important. He said, too important? Who was it? He said, I don't know, but he's got Mickey Gilly driving for him. Here's Katie Lynn. Months is a long, long time. Someone who suddenly changed his mind. He was in and now, now it's just too late. I won't lose one night of sleep worrying about what was meant to be. His leaving is just a reason to celebrate. I'm on a mission, I've got a cause. I'm on a hit every rockin' little honky-tonk bar And the way I think it ought to be again so long Gonna see what kind of trouble I can find I'm on a head-on collision with a real good time I'm on a mission, yeah, it's all about forgetting tonight Oh, yeah, we we'll can I'm out the door Seems like all I'm working for is that night when I can finally just cut loose. I got a few good friends and they're waiting to go. Just give me some time to change my clothes till Monday morning. There ain't nothing I gotta do. I'm on a mission. I got a cause. I'm gonna hit every rockin' little honky tonk bar. She's on a mission. Thanks for making these next two songs number one for us in the country charts. We're going to start with this one, the title of it. Talk to me. Talk to me. Darling, I, I love the things you say. Talk to me. Talk to me. In your own. Sweet, gentle way Let me hear And tell me, dear Tell me you You love me so Talk to me Talk to me 
Tell me what I want to know Many ways you speak of love well, I've heard before Honey, you know it sounds so good every time Please say the parts that I love just once more Darling, I'm so glad you're mine Talk to me Talk to me Hold me close And whisper low Talk to me Darling, can't you see Baby, I I love you so Talk to me Talk to me Darling, I I, I love Yes, I do. Oh. See if you remember this next song now. Our keyboard specialist, Mr. Ron Crooks. Every now and then, someone comes to you. Somehow you know a dream has just come true Well, here it is, baby But I'm trying to say Here I am, darling You can put your dreams away Have a wish for love And you wish so long You begin to think it would never come along Well, here it is, baby What I'm trying to say Here I am, darling You can put your dreams away Put your dreams away And just lay beside me Take all the love that's here Here's all the dream you'll ever need. Put your dreams away, rest them on my shoulder. Darling, the search is over. If you want to love that's here to stay, you can put your dreams away. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Thanks for making those songs number one for us. I had a request to do a song by, uh, by my cousin, Jerry Lee, and uh, I really don't mind doing anything about Jerry. They don't ask me to do anything about Reverend Swagger. No, <laughs> no we're going to do a religious tune for you tonight from a CD that we have out, too, called uh, Why Me, Lord, in a few minutes. But um, I had a request to do one by Jerry Lee, and I want to do you one of my favorite recordings that Jerry Lee recorded back in the 50s when uh, I think he was at his best at one time. And this particular song was written by Hank Williams. This is on the flip side of Great Balls of Fire. And I'm going to do it as close to him as I possibly can do it, folks. So I hope that you like this particular song. It's called You Went Again. <laughs> Running round, I know that I should leave, but then I just can't go. You went. 
going again Well, it's part of mine Could never see What everybody knows but me And just trust in you That was my great sin What can I do You win again Rock and roll legend, Jerry Lee Lewis, the killer. Oh, man, I love that. The way you sang that song and played the piano, ooh, tinkle, 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 tinkle. You tinkled all over that thing, man. I, you went all the way up to the top and all the way back to the bottom and never missed a beat. You go, boy. Hey, I, I'm you look you like you was having fun, too, you know, singing, you know. Oh, boy, would I like to try that. Yeah, you yeah. what? You like, try I'd like, what? I'd like to try to sing a song if that'd be okay with you and the people here tonight. I would love to try that and see if I could do it. Just, just, just to see if I could, you know. Ooh, man, that'd be cool. You know, you could. Oh. You got a song you can sing? Oh man, do I ever? Really? You got I a... got one. I wrote one. <laughs> Is it a country music song? The best country music song. You, the perfect country music song. Well, this is incredible. I am not believing this. I sat down one time and it just came out. <laughs> Maybe I was standing up. I don't remember. Are you believing this, folks? The perfect country music song. Now, people have been writing country music songs for, for as long as I can remember. Yeah, I guess I got lucky. <laughs> Do you sing? I have no idea. But it can't be that hard if you do it. Joy I mean... No, I'm just saying you make it look so easy when you do it. Wait just a minute. I want to do a little survey here. You folks want to hear Joey sing tonight? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> Go, Joey. It's your birthday. Go on a party like it's your birthday. Well, I tell you what. You know, you got about 50% uh, of the folks that want to hear you and about 50% could care less. How many people like to hear Mickey Gilly do comedy? Hey, Joey. <laughs> you know what? 50% of the folks who want to hear you, I'm going to let you sing, all right? Because I want to hear this perfect country song. I'd like to try it just to see if I can do it. Uh, I'm going to let you try it. I don't think I can, but I'd like to try it. Well, I'd like to be totally humidified by the time we're done. <laughs> Maybe you'll get your mouth dried out by that time. Oh, yeah. So, so when's this thing going to happen? Well, it's going to happen right after Casey... Right after Casey does her songs, I'll let you do yours. Okay? Oh, man, I don't want to follow Casey. I'd much rather follow you if that's all right. I... I've only got one slot in this show that I can give you. Now, you take it or leave it. Yes, sir, I'm taking it. Okay. Good. I'm coming in the back door, mister. This lovely lady has a CD that is about to be released, and she's got a medley of Loretta Lynn tunes on it I think you're going to love and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Bays. 
What'd you think? I told you she did a good job on those songs. Absolutely. I tell you what, folks. Um, Y'all sure you want to hear Joey sing? Yeah. You want to hear that song he wrote? Oh, man, I, I thought you was kidding. No, I want to hear the song. You really, you really want me to do it? I have never heard a perfect country music song. Me either, because I ain't never I sung it. I want to hear one. Are you serious? Since you said you wrote it, I want to hear it. Oh, yeah. man, I want you. Yes, I do. I want well, come you. Come on out here and sing it for us. Are you serious? Yeah. You, uh, you told me not to get I'm up. I'll let you sing it for me, and they can listen. You told me not to get up from this spot. Get up. I'm telling Are you, you serious? Come on, get up. Oh, hubba, hubba. I am in the house. I'm in the house. I'm going to get out here, and I, oh, this is wonderful. Hey, I got to show you this. Hey, check this out, Papa Smurf. Check this out. This. My Papa friend, Smurf. yeah, this is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. And I'm gonna get what you is that? one of these because um, everybody needs one of these right here. This, my friend, is what I call the ultimate Tahoochie Hat 2003. Really? Waka, waka, waka. Where'd you find a name like that for that? I named it after the Japanese fiddle player dude over there. Why'd you name it after me? I mean, you're working with me. That's not in the script. Where'd that come from? <laughs> I put it in there to see if I could throw you a curve. Okay, it didn't work, so let's leave that one out. Here we go. Now, look. 
I named it after the Japanese fiddle player. You know, Shushi Tohuchi over. No, his name is Shoji Tabuchi. That's what I said, Shomu Suzuki. Now look what. Now say you're out there in the hot sun. <laughs> oh man, look at me go. That's kind of cute. The women love this hat. Well, I think I like it. Oh man, I was out Donna, there. Donna, you like that? Oh good, yeah. She can drive a race car with that thing on. Oh man, you ain't kidding. Hey, 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 um, hey, the women love, I was out there in front of the theater right before the show started and this woman, she walked up to me, oh, good looking hubba hubba. Had them sewing machine hips. You sure it wasn't Jerry Baker dressed in a woman's uh, outfit? I am not gonna pull your finger, put it away. Now, what? Say you're out there, and you, I was out there, and this woman, she walked up to me, boy, she, I mean, she is perfect, hubba hubba. I said, how you doing? And uh, what did she do? Get away from me. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, hey, if you're gonna be playing the fiddle like that shushi to hoochie, you can wear it like that, look at her. Oh man, this is the perfect hat. I'm gonna get you one. You need one. I want one of them hats. I this, like that little stem up there. What's that for? Well, I was gonna tell you that this right here is a perfect golfing hat. Really? This this hat will take strokes off of your game. Joey, let me tell you something. A hat has nothing to do with taking strokes off of your golf game. Oh yes, he does. Oh really? Uh huh. You can put a whole sleeve of golf balls right up there in this stem. You serious? Mm -hmm. When you hit your golf ball out in the woods or in the water or something, all you gotta do is go out there somewhere in the fairway, look around for it, one will fall out. And say, Here it is, guys! I'm closer than I thought. That's a great idea, but I think they call that cheating. Not where I come from. Really? Mm -mm. Now, now listen. Check this out. Say you're out there on the course and you see a good-looking woman. There's a lot of great-looking girls playing golf now. Yeah, and you want to get one of them to teach Liz is one of them over there. She plays every now and then. Oh, I know. Hub, hub. I can't wait to see her on the course with one of these hats on. <laughs> yeah, if, 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 if you see a good-looking woman, you want to get her attention, all you got to do is look her straight in the eye and go, Wow! I had to get her attention, all right. I've had them fall in the sand trap. Really? Mm hmm You just got to make sure your balls ain't up there when you do it. Oh, I, I, I think put, that's just a little bit too much information. I just now got it. I'm gonna take this off because it, I mean it's squeezing my brain apparently. Um, let me see your hand real fast. This one right here, but make sure oh. my hair is okay. Hi, now, um, I, I, I was gonna sing my song. I'm gonna get you one of them hats. They're on sale in the lobby, and I'll get you one. I um, want one of those hats. Yeah, because if you didn't want to wear your hair one day, you put one of them on. <laughs> You'd be fine. All right, all right, I'm gonna get somebody to help me back here. Hey, Ron. Yeah, you're the keyboard. He's the keyboard specialist. Does he know the song? He can play stuff he ain't never heard before. <laughs> you must be a genius. Yeah, give me, uh, give me a B flat there, Ron. <laughs> okay, just give me a B and I'll flatten it myself. Have a You're gonna love this song. Hang on, just. <clears throat> Have I got to go through all of this to sing this song? I got some in my throat. Can't you see it? <clears throat> I went down to the river. I took my clothes off. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I laid them in the grass. I waded out in that water, and it come up to my oh, knees. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 don't knees go there. Knees right there, that's where the water went, right there. Knees? Yeah, the knees is where, where the water went. You said this was a perfect country music song. Let me tell you something, my I friend. I know, but that's where the water knees went. Knees and... Do you want to see where they went? Right there is where the water. Knees and grass. I drive from here up. Knees and grass don't rhyme. 
Did you understand that? What's that got to do in with? In country it? music, the lyrics have to rhyme to be a perfect country music song, and knees and grass don't rhyme. Well, it would have rhymed if the water had been deeper. <laughs> I'm glad you wasn't out there writing it, because it's hard to rhyme something with belly button. You want to sing a real song? Yeah, okay, yeah, I can do that. I can you got a song you can sing? Yeah, I got one, uh, my favorite love song. I'd like to oh. do that one. Okay, let me get your right. microphone to stand here then. Okay, cool, yeah. All right. All right, we'll just be out here waiting on you. Well, go ahead and tell us something funny. Yeah, okay, something funny. Can't think of anything right now. Here. Is that the one you want me to use? You can raise it up if you like. <laughs> That'd be good. It must be yours down that low. Let me get it up here where the rest, rest of us are. You know, the last time I checked the inventory in this theater, all of these microphones belong to me. Last time I checked, the bank owned them. <laughs> you know who owns the bank, don't you? No, but I guess you're going to tell us, aren't you? Walmart. <laughs> Chet. Boy, I tuckered. Boy, I tuckered harder than You the don't have to check that microphone. Everything I got works. <laughs> Well, good for you. Good for you. Hey, um, I, you, will you play piano on this song? I'm going to do something <clears throat> back here. I don't know what it is. I'll give you a B flat and flatten it even flatter than what he made it. Okay. Hey, cool. And, and uh, I'm going to do my favorite love song. And I'm very nervous, so please bear with me. I hope my voice don't crack. I, I'm going to just kick something off slow, guys. You know, something, you know, something with some feeling. Okay. I'm not even going to play this. I just want to hold on to something. Well, I love her, but I love to fish. I spend all day out on this lake, and hell is all I catch. But today she met me at the door, said I would have to choose. And if I hit that fishing hole today, she'd be packing all her things and she. Would be gone by noon. Well, I'm gonna miss her. Yeah. When I get home, right now I'm on this late show, and I'm sitting in the sun. I'm sure. When I walk through that door tonight Yeah, I'm gonna miss her Oh, looky there I've got a bite All right, y'all put your hands together for Gary the guitar player yeah. And back on the harmonica, that's Jay Brandon There's a chance If I hurry I could beg her to stay That water's right And the weather's perfect No telling what I might catch today Oh, I'm gonna miss her When I get home Right now Lake shore, and I'm sitting in the sun. I'm sure it'll hit me when I walk through that door tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Oh, looky there, another bye. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. I've got to buy. Thank you.
Joy Riley. He did a pretty good job on that song, didn't he? I want to do a religious tune from our uh, CD up the front there that uh, I hope that you enjoy. It's one of my favorite songs. It's written by Chris Christopherson. It's called Whammy Lord. I get the girls down here to help me. Whammy Lord, what have I ever done to deserve even one of the pleasures that I've known Tell me, Lord What did I ever do That was worth loving you For the kindness you've shown Lord, help me, Jesus I wasted it so souls in your hands Try me, Lord If you think there's a way I can try to Then maybe, Lord, I can show someone else what I've been through myself on my way back to you. Lord, help me, Jesus, I've wasted it, so help me, Jesus, I know. We'll be back in 15. Take a short pause.
Welcome back to the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Now, everybody, put your hands together for the Urban Cowboy Band.
Evans Cowboy Van featuring, of course, the Hornets. Since that was so special, I'm going to introduce him to you. Bob Fisher, he plays the trumpet. His brother Randy, right next to him, plays the trombone. Randy Fisher. You met Jay Brandon a few minutes ago when he did that little ride on uh, Joey's song, the fishing song. Jay Brandon. I just found out the other day that he plays every instrument up here on this stage. I didn't know that. Hey, you're talking about some talent. You know that, Norman? He plays every instrument on the stage up here, except maybe the steel, get, play the steel guitar, too. What are you shaking your head like that for? That means no? Okay. <laughs> He's a very talented young man. Uh, my band leader, Norman Carlson. <laughs> Better than me. I can't play that horn. <laughs> Norman and I have been together uh, longer than anybody up here. They've got 37 years. <laughs> yes, indeed. We started working together when Minnie Pearl was a brownie. <laughs> hey, I got a song I want to do for you that you folks made a number one single for me in the country music charts, and it was written by Eddie Arnold and Miss Cindy Walker, and I want you to pay close attention to this song. And y'all put, want you Watch very close now, because I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a little, little uh, uh, magic trick on the end, and I want to show you that the hand is quicker than the eye. So pay close attention. It's called uh, You Don't Know Me. It's been recorded many, many times, but watch this very close now. Don't take your eyes off of this hand right here. You don't know me. You give your hand to me And then you say hello And I can hardly speak My heart is beating so And anyone can tell You think you know me well You don't know me Oh, you don't know the one Who dreams of you at night and longs to kiss your lips Wants to hold you tight To you I'm just a friend That's all I've ever been Cause you don't know me I never knew the art of making love Though my heart ached with love for you Afraid and shy, let my chance go by A chance that you might love me too You give your hand to me And then you say goodbye I watch you walk away Be sad that lucky guy You'll never, never, never know The one that loved you so you don't know me You'll never, never, never know The one that loves you so No You don't know me Y'all catch it? I pulled that string and that light went out. You didn't even see the string, did you? That's because it's magic. See, I told you. The hand is quicker than the eye. Joey loves that trick better than anything I do. <laughs> do you like that one? That was my favorite part of the show. I felt like it was. <laughs> I got that little trick from Sammy Davis Jr. I saw Sammy do that out in Reno. Went backstage, you know, he was part of the Rat Pack. Mm -hmm. I went, I went backstage and I said, Sammy, that's the most clever thing I've ever seen an entertainer do. You reached up there and you pulled that string and that light went out. He said, there wasn't no string there. I said, really? He said, no, he said, it's magic. 
I said, well, I want that. He said, when I'm gone, it's yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I almost feel like Jimmy up here. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you'd start crying, we'd clean up. Sure. Man, that was so cool. You reached up there, man. And you roached out there, and, and you and you pulled that string, and the light went out. Oh, that was great. That was mm. pretty cool, wasn't it? Man, you ain't kidding. It's good. Yeah. Oh, man, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Felt like you would like man, that. Man, you got it going on. Whew. That's great. Mm. But if you really want to turn the light out, you need to go down there to Walmart and get you a clapper. That's what you need. You need to get a clapper. A clapper? Oh, yes, sir. Now, wait a minute. How, I would lose the effect of the song. Now, you know, how do you of... know that? You've never done it with a clapper. Give me a demonstration. It'd be just like this. No, you don't know me. Do, 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 do. Ring. Whoop. Bing. <laughs> yeah. Clap ball. Ball, ball, ball. Joey. Turn them lights back on. Clap on. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. I didn't know it was going to work. Don't do that again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's, it's you not... Know, I want to ask you something. You know, I, I reserved a seat for Grandma Riley tonight. Where is she at? She ain't going to be able to make it. What do you mean she's not going to make it? I saved a seat for her. She had more important things to do. There's I mean, nothing more she, important than coming to see our show. She had other things to do. Oh, okay. But she's going to be here uh, uh, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yes, Grandma Riley's coming. Yes, sir. Did she get the picture I sent her? Yes, she did. She loves that picture. She I, loves you. I mean, she thinks you. Oh, she, she like my singing? She thinks you're one of the rat pack. <laughs> or one of the pack rats. <laughs> Which way? What, the pack rat? What is it? Yeah, she thinks you're one of those guys. She got my picture, though, huh? Yes, she did. Because I wrote on there, Grandma Riley loved Mickey Gilly. It's, yes, you did. It's yeah. hanging there on the wall, in the hall, on the hall wall, on the wall, in the hall. On the nail, in the wall, in the hall, in the hall wall. Where's it, where's, it, where's it at exactly? On the wall, in the hall, on the hall wall. I get the picture. If you're, no, she's got the picture. It's hanging on the wall, in the hall, on the hall wall. If you're going west, it's on the right. If you're going east, it's on the left. Hanging on the wall, in the hall, in the hall wall. Okay, I, I've, I've tried to make that funny and it ain't going to happen. <laughs> so just leave it alone. When she walks by my picture, when she's walking down the hall, on the, the wall. picture's hanging on the wall, in the <laughs> hall. Does she, <laughs> does she throw me a kiss? Close. Actually, she brushes up against you when she goes to the restroom. <laughs> Matter of fact, she doesn't wipe the gilly off the bench. <laughs> Are y'all believing this? She's wiped the gilly off the picture. So what you're trying to tell me, the only thing left is a Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the M to go, and then she'll have an icky. You know what? You've really got a strange family. I don't mind telling you. Oh, man, everyone. I, mean, I like Grandma Riley, but I tell you what, your family is strange. It's because we was poor growing up. Well, Everybody, I can't help that. I mean, we didn't I, have no money. Well, I'm I mean, we was that. poor, man. Why, about well, that brother of yours, where's he at? Well, I don't know. I'm mad at him, by the way. But what, what's he done now? I let him borrow $5,000 for plastic surgery, and I don't know what he looks like. I think it looked like Michael Jackson. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I'm mad. We was, and that hurts me. Weight down deep inside. Really? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, we were close. You know, we were close. We were like you, Jerry, and the other yeah, dude. Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Not the other dude, Reverend Swagger. Yeah, right, Swagger. Yeah, we all grew up together. I don't know what you mean. We you know, we were too. close. We were a unit. We were a pack rat. <laughs> rat pack. You know, we were... We were the do, the deal, yeah. yeah. You were close. We was poor, you know. We How had poor to be. was you? I was so poor. I was thirteen years old before I knew my name wasn't Joey Getwood. But 
That's pretty poor. <laughs> they think I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'll never forget, you know, and my brother's a pilot, too. Very successful. Really? What airline does he fly for? Because Delina's husband's here, and he, he works for uh, U.S. Air, I think. Well, what, what airline did he fly for? What does that got to do with it? Well, you said he was a pilot. That's exactly what I said. I'd cut the wood and he'd pilot. <laughs> Am I missing something here? <laughs> no, well, what the deal is, we was poor growing up. You know, we had to sleep together you know, in the same bed growing up because we couldn't afford another bedroom. Just had to sleep together. You and your brother slept together. Yeah, I never knew. Bed. I never knew what it was like to sleep alone until I got married. But anyway, <laughs> I'll never forget. We got ready for bed one night, and he got down on his side of the bed on his knee, and I got down on my side of the bed on my knee. And he looked over me and said, "What are you doing?" I said, the "Same thing you're doing." He said, "You better not, cause the pot's over here." Oh, man, he's messed up in the head. He, uh, yeah, I'll never, I bought him a brand new barbecue pit for his birthday last year. He turned 35 years old. Really? Yeah. Right. All domesticated and stuff. Oh, man, it's got one of them rotisseries on it. You know where you can spin whatever you're cooking round and round? You mean you didn't get him an electric one? You don't pay that good. He, <laughs> He is out there, he's spinning his brisket uh, uh, on this barbecue he's pit. He's spinning what? His brisket. His, his biscuit? Okay, he's out there spinning his chicken. <laughs> <laughs> that don't sound good, does it? No, okay, he's out there spinning whatever he is cooking. Just like this, and this old drunk come up out of the alley out there and seen him doing this right here, and he said, I just wanted you to know that your music stopped and your monkey's on fire. <laughs> it was brisket, but it tasted like chicken. But, but then again, when we was poor, man, we'd just go out the road and see what was for dinner. <laughs> Roadkill. All right, then. Hey, hey, uh, hey you, you was mentioning your cousin, Jerry Lee Lewis, and that Reverend Swagger dude, and you said, hey, I heard or I read in the newspaper y'all are going to have a new movie coming out. That's, that's correct. We're going to have a, a film come out on all three of us. Why didn't you announce this to them? Well, it wasn't that important to me, except for the fact that it is important. It's a major motion picture. It's going to be a while before they do it, though. I signed off on it, and Jerry signed off on it, but Jimmy didn't sign off on it. But we don't need to because we got all his books that he wrote, and we know enough about him anyway. So does CNN. <laughs> but, but that's cool that they're going to do a, a picture on y'all. That'd yeah, be cool. Did they got a title for it? Well, they hadn't come up with a name yet. Oh, I got a good one. Really? Oh. Well, I'll submit it to him. What is it? It's called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. <laughs> and I'll give away a free trip to Baghdad for anybody who can tell me who's who. Did you know they found out that uh, Saddam had blue eyes? They found him. He had blue eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, re I remember yeah. reading See that in the paper? Yeah, sure did. Yeah. One blew that way and the other one blew. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> no, all seriousness, all seriousness aside, uh, uh, what... what <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you is I, I seen your cousin, Jerry Lee, we was talking about, I seen him over at the golf course the other day, and you're supposed to advertise for the golf That's course. That's right. I, I, I play uh, golf over Thousand Hills usually. Yeah. Today we played Holiday Hills, and it was mm. very nice out there. Mm. Played uh, Holiday Hills today, but usually I play Thousand Hills because it's real close there because I live there on the, on the, right on the golf course. Um, and uh, Thousand Hills, that's where, there it is right there. It's right behind the Grand Palace. If you, you get a chance to play that course, I guarantee you'll enjoy yourself and have a good time. Just mention my name. If you go over there, they'll let me play free. Well, I bet they're going to jump all over that deal. <laughs> I seen your cousin over there, Jerry Lee Lewis. 
He, uh, day before yesterday, over at Thousand Hills, I was driving the drink cart. <laughs> Jerry Lee, was he playing golf? He don't play golf. Yeah, he does. He just don't want you to know it because he don't want to play with you. Oh. But I was driving the drink cart and I seen him. Who was he playing with? O.J. Simpson. Did you happen to get a chance to say hello to them? I sure did. They rode right by me on the golf yeah, cart there, uh -huh. and I said, Hey, killer! <laughs> and they both waved at me. Here's a new song from the CD called Dancing to the Beat of a Broken Heart. Sometimes you'll have one drink too many Sometimes she laughs a bit too loud But she's the first one on the dance floor She'll dance with any man I watch the way they all surround her I know that they don't understand her She's just dancing to the beat of a broken heart Searching for comfort with strangers in the dark it's just her way to fight another lonely night Dancing to the beat of a broken heart She's the center of attention Every time she comes in here and As she dances by my table I can see the traces of her tears There's someone somewhere she She's just looking for a shoulder She's just dancing to the beat of a broken heart Searching for comfort with strangers in the dark It's just her way to fight another lonely night Dance to the beat of a broken heart It's just her way to fight Another lonely night Dancing to the beat of a broken heart She's dancing to the beat of a broken heart Thank you. I saw the new CD. I have a special guest here tonight. She has a show down the street here from us at the uh, Americana Theater. And uh, I don't know exactly where she's sitting at. They said it was on the 13th <laughs> row. Right. Where's Delina at? <laughs> where you at? There she is right there. Hey, love you too, baby. If y'all get a chance to go see her show in the morning, it's 930. You take her ticket stuff in this theater, she's going to give you five bucks off, and I guarantee you'll have a good time. She does a wonderful job. That's Delina. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I like her because she's a professional singer. <laughs> I wonder if she's hiring. Uh, I don't know if she can handle you, Joey. At least I don't have to worry about riding around her in, uh, you know, around in a convertible. I know her hair ain't going to come off. 
<laughs> Yours goes. <laughs> <laughs> this next song is the uh, the title. I'm going to dedicate this to Delina. And I, uh, when we finish uh, tonight, Delina, you need to come back. I'm going to give you a CD of the session. So uh, don't leave. I'm going to get to talk to you. Uh, this particular song is the title of the CD, and also it's the new single that uh, they released. And I don't know whether we're going to play on it or not, but uh, if you're back to your radio stations at home somewhere, call them up and say, you get the new single on Gilly? Yeah, but we didn't, we're didn't. we not going to play it. He's 14 years. He ain't been out of the record business. They're still playing the old stuff, though. So they, they might play it a few times if you call them and talk to them about it. Uh, it's called Invitation Only. See what you think about it. Once she threw a party and invited only me. Could have stayed forever but I wanted to be free Wish I could have her back again I'm on the outside looking in Cause it's invitation only Don't just go knocking on her door no, no, it's invitation only A sweet request worth waiting for Invitation only I know she don't come easy I know she don't come cheap She's quite particular About the company she keeps Clever words won't be enough Take it from me Her kind of love Her kind of love Her kind of love Invitation only Don't just go knocking on the door No, no Invitation only A sweet request worth waiting for Invitation only Don't just go knocking on the door No, no, it's invitation only A sweet request worth waiting for Invitation only Invitation only Thank you. That's the song we got the most uh, response out of when we started doing these new songs and the performance. So I hope that you folks enjoyed that particular tune. And um, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll play it around the country some on some of these radio stations and you'll get to hear it. Um, the CD is going to be released on the 20th. Uh, I'm going to do a song now for, uh, uh, that I had out with Charlie McLean, and I'm going to bring Katie down here to help me sing it. It's called Hold On to the Feeling. Anyway. 
It's finders keepers now that I have you to do that for you and Tony. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do Paradise tonight with this lovely lady that uh, I had out with Charlie McLean. This is Casey. Casey Bays, ladies and gentlemen. This is the number one song for us. So alone and blue I took you in my arms Now I'm going home with you I'm, I'm gonna, gonna wake up in your arms tomorrow You're gonna make it tonight See what she did to me then? I get no respect. I cannot believe she did it to me. Oh. I'll tell you what. You need some more glue? <laughs> First thing she made up fun of was my height. Did you see her? <laughs> Saw that, didn't you? <laughs> then I come out here and she gave me the old famous rabbit ears right behind the head. 
She also made fun of my might. See that? And then she took her hips and knocked me almost to the floor right here. Boop! I like to went to the floor right there. You don't have very far to fall. <laughs> Go, shorty. It's your birthday. Go to party like it's your birthday. She was having fun. I was kind of enjoying, you know, just playing around there for a few minutes there with her. But what really got to me is when she patted me on top of the head. It's okay, son, you know. Oh, my mom used to do me like that. Like, ooh. Oh, mess my hair up. Yeah, you need to bring it back about a half an inch there. Just. Joey? You know, most people's recede, but that thing moving forward. I can see it. That's proceeding. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've tried to do so songs we feel like that the ladies love and enjoy. And the reason for that is because my friend Conway Twitty told me one time, he said, Gilly, if you want to be successful in the country music field, you got to do songs that the ladies love. Pick the pretty songs, the sweet songs, the soft songs, the love songs, and they'll support you in the music industry and you'll be successful. I said, I'll remember that, Conway. And I played him a song called Don't the Girls All Get Pretty Clothes in Time. He looked me right straight in the eye and he said, don't do that song. I said, I got to do that song because it's a true story. So I want to dedicate this song to all you guys. I picked this just especially for all the guys, and I'm including myself in the same pack with you. Because I know that we all can agree that the girls definitely get better looking at closing time, especially the ones that like to have one or two drinks and feel like you're nine foot tall and bulletproof. This is the national anthem for every honky-tonk in the world. So think about it, all right? Because it is a fact. The girls get prettier at closing time. One, two, one, two, three, pig! <laughs> Now the girls all get prettier in closing time Now they all begin to look like movie stars Now the girls all get prettier in closing time When the change starts taking place But the glow on every face of the fallen angel Of the backstreet ball I could read them on a scale from one to ten Looking for a nine to eight could work already. A few more drinks and I might slip to five or even four. When tomorrow morning comes and I wake up with a number one, and I'll never do it anymore. Then all the girls all get prettier in closing time. Now they all begin to look like movie stars. Now the girls all get prettier in closing time When the change starts taking place There's a glow on every face of a an angel of the backstreet boys I don't mean to criticize the girls at all I'm no Robert Redford, even overhaul We all picture in our minds a girl that looks just right Ain't it funny and ain't it strange Where a man's opinions change When it starts to face that lonely night Then all the girls all get prettier in closing time now they all begin to look like movie stars. Now the girls all get prettier in closing time. When the change starts taking place, put the glow on every face of the fallen angel of the backstreet boys. What I say? Fallen angels of the backstreet boys. Thank you very much. 
You guys would be really surprised if I told you how many ladies asked me to do that song. But see, I know what's going on. I know the guys start looking better than y'all at closing time, too. <laughs> I know that for a fact, because I was over in the canteen the other night, and some gal came through there and picked up Norman. <laughs> hey, Norman. Norman. That's, that's not a good picture of me. <laughs> yeah, but the top's right. You're going to have these, these ladies thinking I'm wearing a toupee, Joe. That's yeah, been the point all night long. <laughs> Here's a song that sounds right to film the Urban Cowboy. When the night has come and the land is dark And the moon be the only light we'll see How about that moon? No, I won't be afraid I won't be afraid Just as long just as long as you stand by me Darling, stand by me Won't you stand by me If you're in need Won't you stand And if the sky we look upon Should never crumble and fall And the mountains they should fall Into the sea No, I won't be afraid No Shed a tear just as long, just as long as you stand by me, darling. Stand by me, won't you stand by me if you're in need? Won't you stand by? Darling, stand by me Won't you stand by me If you're in need Won't you stand by me Thank you very much. Thanks for making out a number one single for us, the country charts also. And you want to hear Joey sing one more song? Okay. Joey, come on out here and let's do that uh, devil song you do. Oh, okay. I just Hold need up. a microphone stand. You need a microphone to stand? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I have a microphone to stand for Joey, please? <laughs> oh, what a delivery system. Hubba, 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 hubba. Right now, I'd like to have another microphone in the stand. <laughs> Boy, that'll make a bulldog break his chain. <laughs> yeah. Will you do the devil? <laughs> hey, my favorite song in that whole film, that Burpin Cowboy movie, was a... Uh, uh, by Burpin Cowboy movie. Yeah, by Charlie Daniels, and it's called The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Let's, Let's do, do it. that one. Kick it off. Harold!
The devil went down to Georgia. He's looking for a soul to steal. He's in a bind. He's way behind. He's willing to make a deal. And he come across this young man song on the fiddle and playing it hot. The devil jumped up on the hickory stump, said, boy, let me tell you what. I guess you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player, too. And if you care to take it there, I'll make a bet with you. And now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give the devil his due. I bet a fiddle of gold against your souls think I'm better than you. The boy said, my name's Johnny, and it might be a sin. But I'll take your bet you're going to regret I'm the best it's ever been. Cause Johnny lies up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Cause that was in Georgia and the devil deals the cause. But if you win, you get to shine a fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. The devil opened up his case and said, I'll start this show. And fire flew from his fingertips as he rosened up his bow. And he pulled the bow across the strings and made an evil hiss. <laughs> and a band of demons joined in and it sounds something like this. What? Johnny said, you're pretty good, old son. Sit back in that chair out there and let me show you how it's done. And he played fire on the ride the ride. in the house of the riding sun. Chicken the red band, picking out the wood. Raise it on my no time no Bowed his head because he knew that he'd been beat. And he laid that golden fiddle on the ground at Johnny's feet. Johnny said, the devil, just come on back if you ever want to try again. I done told you once, you son of a gun, I'm the best that's ever been. And he played fire, run, 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 run. That's the house of the right of sun. Chicken, red, red, picking out dough. Brand, you don't buy no John, no. Oh, I'm telling you. Thank you very much. I hope y'all had a good time with us. We had a wonderful time with you tonight. And uh, if you get a chance to see some other shows here in Branson, do so. Try to see Delina in the morning if you can at 930. Take your tickets to give you five bucks off. Pleasure having all of you with us from the Urban Cowboy Band, the Urbanettes, the Hornets, Joey Riley, yours truly, Mickey Gilly. We want to say drive safe when you go home. And I think we're living in the greatest country in the world, folks, right here in this country. I'd like to invite all of you to join in and sing with us a verse of God Bless America for all of our veterans and uh, the war we just got out of. And if you want to sing along, we'd love to have you, all right? God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairie. To the ocean, white with fall. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet.
Hope y'all had a good time with tonight. Drive safe, do come back and see us. Thank you.